Hey guys, welcome back to the Joe Jaguar Show. One more time, your best friend in astronomy and science. I hope at least one of them. Now, we're outside today because it is a beautiful July early evening and I uh, have something special behind my back, yeah, and uh, which was a fluke, so I wanna explain. I saw somebody on Marketplace selling a tail rat. I'm selling it for 10 bucks. Uh, you know, I seen another one that was like 20 bucks and it, was pro it wasn't working properly. So this one did not say that. So I just contacted the guy and said, hey, do you know you can sell that for about, you guys don't know, since I'm in Canada, I normally speak in Canadian dollars because obviously that's uh, where I live. But anyway, so I contacted him and said, hey, you know, 10 bucks is cheap. It's working. So he confirmed, yeah, it's working, nothing wrong. I said, you can sell one for at least 60 bucks. So he goes, okay, thank you very much. And he raised it to 20 bucks and uh, he sold it. But um, then he told me he has other telescope things that he wants to sell. And it's like, sure, you know, uh, give, me, give me a list of what you have. Maybe I might be interested in it. A type of thing uh, then I explained to him after hey, I have a YouTube channel sometimes if I see special stuff or you know something that's beyond the, the regular you know stuff uh, you know I might like it or you never know or maybe I might find, know somebody else that might like it if it's just regular stuff so he sent me pictures and I see right away it's a FS Takahashi now if you guys know here's the five inch now the Takahashi 5 inch, all that, it doesn't say any size on the dew cap, it just says that. You gotta look at the, um, like where the focuser on the plate, it has like then the size and the serial number. If I buy it, I'm gonna meet the person because he's about four hour drive away. It's actually funny because it came from the same place that that one came from, about four hour away from me. It is a 102 FS, so it was just fluky. So when he sent us, like, yeah, I think I probably would be interested in that because remember guys, again, Takahashi's do not come easily in Canada. In fact, he said he got it from the US. So again, all you US uh, people out there and people in the hobby, I appreciate you guys selling these top high-end rated telescopes to our country so people like me and this gentleman can enjoy. Otherwise, it's just really difficult to get these type of things just because the population is 10 times I think last time I looked 36 million in Canada and the US is over 360 million maybe it's 370 million so probably we can extrapolate 10 times the people are in the hobby and uh, getting these items to your country is just 10 times easier than in ours even though this comes from you know uh, Japan right but there is a Takahashi in America anyway too but it's probably just more people uh, in the hobby easier to get these items so that's what it was so if the gentleman who saw this video uh, if you want to comment and type of thing so I believe I don't know exactly his age he didn't say he just said he was retired a while ago to me he looked like he's at least in his late 60s type of thing it could be even in early 70s and it's just getting out of the hobby for whatever reason but anyway he was just getting rid of everything a case full of you know stuff and then this guy and um, I want to show you guys that well first I guess let's talk about this I mean I already kind of talked about it on the five inch over here but just in case some of you guys did not see that video the FS model uh, is an older model it's a doublet which is nothing wrong um, it's actually lighter than a triplet and it cools down faster than a triplet. And sometimes if you're a visual observer, um, you could even do astrophotography too with a high quality doublet could be enough for a lot of people. Um, so again, it's the FS model is the older model. Probably uh, they stopped making it about 17 years, maybe in the mid uh, 2000s type of thing so uh, about 15 to 17 years roughly their doublets made out of fluoride glass um, this is an f 8.1 so this looks like your four inch fracting telescope uh, of course it's an APO now from what I can gather on the serial number here this was the 99th made that year of the end it was made in the year 2000 
So this one right now is about, I think, and let me know if I'm wrong. If you guys actually more know more about the Takahashi and the experts uh, than I think it's the 99th one made that year in the year 2000. So I hope that's it. If not, just give me a correction. I don't mind at all. So this is what it looks like. It, it's, uh, you know, an APO, obviously. Uh, the Takahashi green finish it has its clam shell type of thing. I'll show you the mount in a second. Um, lens looks perfect. The normal green lettering, uh, your push-pull cells, uh, over there so you can collimate it if necessary doesn't even need clean it's perfect so the gentleman was just getting out of the hobby in his late 60s at least maybe in the 70s if you're there and you want to comment and say your age that's great if not you can just comment and that's fine too now check out this mount because I'm not familiar with this mount so much because again since Takahashi is not really popular in Canada just because of the cost wise uh, you guys tell me. So this is like, obviously, Takahashi brand there. This looks like an Altazmuth. Nice big arm there. And here's your locking screw here. And then you have your slow motion control here. Let me see if I can. So if I do this, hopefully you can see that raising up and down. And then there's a locking nut over here. So you can lock down this axis or loosen it and then you can swing it this way. You can lock it down. And then same thing here. You can use the slow motion control to move it this way. So it's an interesting mount. This is on a slick professional design too. Also made in Japan. These legs here, Looked are about an inch and a quarter diameter here. This looks like to be about two inch over here. This is as far as the bottom goes. So it doesn't go any higher. However, it does have this here, which can raise that up. Uh, so maybe that might be all that you need. So if you guys are familiar with this mount, if you want to give me a little bit more information, uh, like what does this normally retail, is probably that's not going to be uh, part of it, but what would that be included with the clamp? Was this a popular mount? Maybe when was it made? I guess I could also research that but um, Maybe you guys would like to help me out on this video that are familiar with it more than me and get input and involve you guys in this video as well Here's also you have a locking nut here so you can rotate the focuser and Then you've got your standard single speed 2.7 inch a focuser here again it's it's not bad uh, I've said it in other videos I wish Takahashi would just source out their uh, their focusers and get feather touch you know even a 2.5 or something like that would just dual speed would just be you know an ultimate telescope but you know it's not bad it's it's, it's not that it's bad it's just I'm used to now when you become familiar with uh, dual speeds and you have that micro adjustment. It's just great. Here's your tension knob here for your focuser Has a couple adapters on here to be an inch and a quarter uh, Now it did come with the two inch adapter, but I know for my six inch That's inside you actually for visual you need two adapters So even though I have one with this I don't see the other adapter so I can hook up the um, two inch focuser um, and that's pretty expensive. I know on my TOA uh, six inch, uh, I had to buy those two adapters to make to do visual because it didn't come like that because the person prior to me, I think was doing imaging, so it didn't need the visual adapters. And those two visual adapters so I could use my two inch diagonal and eye piece was almost 500 Canadian for two adapters. So this one I, I got the inch and a quarter format but I don't have, and I have one of the two inch one, the one that screws onto the back, but not the one, the two inch adapter that will hold the diagonal. I'm pretty sure that sucker is probably gonna be about two to 250, so I'm not even gonna bother. Uh, in a four inch size, uh, and this guy's only 820 millimeter focal length, I'm just gonna use inch and a quarter, and um, maybe an inch and a quarter eyepiece and a 32 or, you know, 40 or whatever, and that should be good enough for low power. 
Anyway, guys, so this was a rare find, and when I seen it, it's like, uh, yeah, I want to check it out. And, uh, you know, again, I could do a couple videos on it. So this is an overview of it. Haven't actually tested yet, so we'll do that soon. Thank you for that gentleman for, um, well, I guess we helped each other. He was looking to find somebody that was going to take care of it and find a good home. I promised him I would do minimum three videos or several videos. We'll see of this guy and uh, maybe he would like to see it and how it performs uh, now it is clear the man this week i am dead tired so i'm just gonna see if i can um maybe leave it out here cool down and maybe try to look at venus with it the only thing is um venus is setting now and the only way that i can kind of see it when it gets dark is if i go behind the fence onto the common grounds there and I just don't want people seeing me with this guy or anything expensive because you just never know these days with all the craziness since COVID and stealing and breaking in I don't know I've seen so much stuff happen ever since COVID started I don't know the wildfires that it created in people but it just there's so much more of that out there and it's just I don't know if I want to take the chance. You know, even if somebody doesn't know that Takahashi is a top brand type of thing, they're just seeing, hey, this is a pretty large telescope. Normal people don't see telescopes, so even if they see something this big, you know, they think it's expensive, which it is. But um, I don't want to attract any more of that unwantedness to my backyard or my door. You know, how strong is really a sliding door? get in if you really want to you know so anyway I, I gotta see um, maybe if I invite maybe a couple friends or maybe if I go to the park then they don't know um, here uh, type of thing but also doing a video is tricky because if I'm out there you know trying to do a video and talking it also attracts uh, people now if I'm doing my star parties type of thing is fine but you know uh, when I'm trying to get something done I just don't know if that's gonna interfere as well but anyway guys so enough of this video Takahashi FS doublet fluorite. Uh, I didn't weigh it. Oh my gosh. So we don't know what it, what it weighs. Let me go just at least weigh the OTA. Um, I'm not, uh, not going to weigh it with the rain or the cradle. Let's just get a general idea for you guys. Okay, guys. 10 pounds for this right here with the diagonal and adapter. Let's say 12 pounds with an eyepiece and this cradle, roughly, 11 to 12. So, which is uh, in line, I think, with a, a lot of four inch size uh, type of thing. I didn't counterbalance it, but uh, yeah. Okay, so I think that's 10 pounds for a four inch. It's very doable and it's probably standard uh, F8 type of thing. Anyway, guys, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys on the next video. Um, where uh, I'm actually going to now, uh, I had a certain list of when I, you know, what I wanted to do and you know, my next videos, but obviously now that I have this, let me give it a, a test here and there a few times. So I'm just gonna re, uh, redo some of my scheduled videos and that's what happens sometimes. I get something and then it throws a few videos off and then when you watch them, you guys in the public, then you're saying, oh, that looks a bit older, or there could be snow on the floor, or maybe the leaves are starting to fall, you know, something like that. Uh, but it is what it is, it doesn't matter to me. Anyway, guys, um, if you know anybody uh, that's getting into the hobby, uh, share my link if you wouldn't mind. If you're on the forums and maybe you heard, uh, you know, maybe somebody asking about this type of refractor, or maybe another video that I have, please share my link if you don't mind. Why not you? why not me and remember too last thing i now have a members videos only that the general people watching my channel won't see and it's 99 cents a month so it's i made it as cheap as possible and you're going to see at least one video per month and i'm also going to put your name in the description so if you'd like to join and i can help the channel grow plus give me some funds to buy new stuff which is always expensive because my channel is normally, uh, you know, about reviewing, testing, looking at uh, products. Uh, I, I have started doing, you know, looking through and showing you guys, right? But 
reviewing and testing and that type of thing is my meat and potatoes. Uh, so it actually costs a lot more money compared to channels that are just astrophotography. You could just have one telescope and then you can view 10 million objects or take videos and pictures. But this, I think, does cost more because I'm always showing, always showing you guys different things that I find. Why not you? Why not me? Hey guys, so I did find some information about this mount. It wasn't actually very hard to do. Anyway, it's the Takahashi. It's called a Teagull, T-E-E-G-U-L, A-Z mount. Now, it's discontinued, uh, but it seems to be a very decent mount. Um, it used to be $450 on the US market. Now, the ring or the cradle is not included in that, and that's about 100 and I think it's $78 US for that. And the slick uh, tripod is, I'm pretty sure, uh, not included, and that seems to be a heavy duty one. When I look up the slick, uh, deluxe to professional grade models i don't see that specific one uh, from all uh, everything i've researched i can't find it so maybe that's no longer made a lot of these manufacturers change stuff all the time but from what i see the capabilities and you know prof professional models that are in that category they go from about a you know a uh, five hundred dollars to a thousand dollars now i think that is in canadian funds but still it's a very good tripod as well so that's what it is takashi discontinued that now there was i believe from what i read a previous model of the tigo model where it had a version one and then um, they upgraded it or you know to a version two which was correct something with the locking nut or the slow motion control there was something that wasn't smooth so anyway i think they corrected it this i believe is the upgraded version so that's what it is but if you guys have any other information let me know